guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. So today we are vlogging, today, this weekend we are vlogging my second North Carolina trip to see my brother. He recently moved. I've already uploaded a video telling you guys about that in my first trip. So it's December now, that one was in November and I've just decided to vlog again to share that with you guys and my experience so if you were excited to see my trip and how much fun I had and what I did then make sure you go ahead and keep watching. Currently at the travel center. Just use the coffee, it's a little loud in here. But maybe a drink. I might get some food, but I have made it halfway. I'm gonna get some gas. Stay here for a little bit, maybe walk around. And then we make my way to North Carolina. Two bathroom stall, which you would think would have more, but it doesn't. I mean, this place is huge. I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna try to be inconspicuous with it. I had to like fix my hair because it's frozen really bad. I changed the side part, so let's go look. I mean, for this being like a huge, like travel center, they don't really have like food food, like breakfast food, they just have like grocery food. Oh, I don't want any of this. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna pay for my espresso. I got an espresso. And I think that's gonna be it, so let's go check out. Okay, so I'm currently filling my tank back up. I'm only at half a tank, but what is that? I just figured I'd fill it up. So I'm drinking the Starbucks Express uh, Espresso. Oh my God. Starbucks Espresso and Cream. Let's go. Gas is only 324 here. It's like three, well, it's only like 340 where we are now. Okay, so $35 to fill it from half a tank, which isn't bad. It cost me like 50 at home to fill it all the way up, which is really good, or 55 because the last time I came down here in November when I filled it up at my house, it was like $70. So it's gone down a little bit. It was almost $4 a gallon up there um, in November, but... So I'm gonna put it in my GPS. Um, this is the halfway point, so I probably won't check back in until I get there unless I stop. Then I will, but I'm gonna try to just go right there. So I will see you in North Carolina. So I am currently pulled the fuck over. Um, the officer said I was going 82 in a 70, which I probably was. Like, he's probably not lying. But, like, I don't have a digital speedometer. I just have, like, the needle. So it's, like, 80 and 82 are right next to each other. So I'm just waiting for him to give me my ticket. They always do that when you're out of state. They give you a ticket. They don't give you a warning because they want you to pay it because they know you're not coming back. But... He's getting ready to come back here, so I'm not gonna stop recording because I don't want it to get crazy. Okay, so I got a ticket. Hmm. Not a warning. I got a ticket. So I was going, I was going 82 and a 70. I don't have a digital thermometer. Why do I keep saying that? 
I don't have a digital speedometer like I did in my Ford. It's just a regular one. So like knowing exactly how fast I'm going, I don't. <laughs> but to be fair, I probably should have been nowhere near 80 to even be like, oh, I didn't know I was going 82. Um, however, I was just like, really? You couldn't give me a warning? Like, you know I'm not from here. So I either have to go to court January 23rd or I have to just pay the fine. And so I called to see what the fine was. And it's like $6 per mile over, which is like $72 plus a $76 processing fee. And it's like, you're gonna charge me for processing a fine that I'm not asking for, but okay, fine, whatever. So it's $148 that I have to pay to the state of Virginia. Virginia, you can kiss my ass. And if any of you are from Virginia, I'm so sorry, but fuck. Anyway, so I got a ticket. That's nice. And then as I'm like sitting here talking about a ticket, like literally I'm going almost 80 and a 55. I don't, I just, these roads, okay, are like basically empty. You know, I got a, there's a few cars on the road. They're open roads. I'm on them for like 60 miles, a hundred miles. And I just tend to forget and I just kind of go. Like I'm not going out of my way to speed or be reckless or anything like that. But it is what it is, I guess. Nothing I can do. What am I gonna do about it, you know? And I'm not gonna drive three hours <coughs> from my house to fight a ticket that it's like, how do I how do I even fight that ticket anyways? Like, you know, Your Honor, yes, I, I was going 82 miles an hour. I mean, if you say I was, I was. I can't really fight that. But I feel like that's just a waste of gas and money. I might as well just pay the ticket at that point. Okay, so I got the same exact room as last time. So, same bed, same window. Look how cute this is. They have this on, I love this. And same beautiful bathroom. I love it. I'm pretty sure this is a handicap one because this is always in here. Are these always in hotels? I don't think they are. Either way. Hey, we're here. I'm so excited. So I got the same room, like literally, same exact number and everything. And now I'm just chilling. I gotta get dressed because we are gonna go to lunch for, I think it's sushi we're getting and I wanna wear something cute. I think I'm gonna try to hang my clothes this time. I usually don't do that, but I think I wanna hang like my outfits together, like right here. So I have to go get the rest of the stuff out of my car. So I decided on my last video, I said like, you know, I just kind of live out of my suitcase when I go to the hotel. I decided to be bougie. And now I'm like, I have a little setup. I have a whole little hair, important stuff, Q-tips, toothbrush, body stuff. Mm-hmm. It gets better. It gets better. I'm organized. Come with me. Come with me. So this is still my bag with like my extra stuff, like uh, hats, belts, whatever. This is extra clothes, shorts, t-shirts, jeans, sweaters, just in case what I, I chose for my outfits. I changed my mind because I changed my mind a lot. So what I decided to do, I hung my outfits together. So we have a hoodie and I'm gonna be wearing black biker shorts with it. And then we have a hoodie and matching sweatpants. How cute is this hoodie? And the other arm is like maroon. And then we have this lovely lady with a crop and baggy jeans. And then we have this sweater, which is super long, a beige bodysuit, and then dark jeans and my Gucci shoes with it. And then we have this t-shirt with track pants. And then this is just my jacket. I also put my pajamas on the desk that has shoes in it. Shoes organized. So this is still open, I'm gonna close it up, but what I do is like, 
I bring extra clothes because even though I'm only staying here two nights, three days, I might change my mind for those outfits. Like, I might not wear a single one of those and just go to, like, t-shirts, leggings, and jeans. So, I always have extra just in case I change my mind. But, I am an adult today. Fucking right I am. Whoa! Okay, so, I just realized I can change my iPhone to HD at 60 frames per second. Literally, I need to get my life together. So I decided to do something with my hair instead of just leaving it down and curly. I kind of hate it. It's kind of hot. Like, I'm sweating. I took the turtleneck off, but I'm still hot. Like, I want to put shorts on. And it says it's only 60 degrees. It might be because I'm, like, in the sun. But I am going to get some food because we're not going to the sushi place until dinner time. Since it's right next to the Christmas light place and you can't go see that until it's dark. So I'm going to head to Zaxby's because I've never had it. And then I'm going to head to my brother's and deliver some gifts and some food. So I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm excited and impressed with myself that I organized my hotel room the way that I did. So that's exciting. All right, I'm going to go get some food. I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> what you doing? Scott, say hi. Don't be rude, it's my vlog. You're just like Uncle Paul, he does that. Look at the sunset. It's actually really beautiful. So we are headed to dinner. We are going, what's the sushi place called? King Sushi. We're going to King Sushi. That is the place that we went last time. It's so good. It's so good. And then we're gonna go see Christmas lights. First of all, my face needs to see some light. I look like I have two black eyes. Oh my God, look at this, Jessica. I see that. <laughs> is it? Does it really look like that in real life? <laughs> No, not really. Oh Jessica, I wanted to get changed and I wanted to put on makeup for tonight. I was going to do the whole thing. Listen, talk to your brother. Like, all of a sudden, we were in a time crunch. He was the one that was like, where are we going? What are we doing? Yeah, Scott, why are we in such a time crunch? I can't straighten this thing. It's either too far left or too far right. I just want it even. There we go. So we are going to go eat and then we're going to go see Christmas lights and then we'll probably go to bed pretty early because Jessica has work tomorrow and I'm fucking tired but <laughs> I'm excited for the Christmas lights. I'm going to vlog that too so you guys will be able to see that. Bye! What do you mean? What? Remember when I had it? Oh. <laughs> I couldn't breathe? Yeah. And you didn't tell anybody? Yeah, didn't get no food. Okay, so we are currently driving into the Christmas night show. That's a police officer. Oh. And I'm so excited to show you guys how beautiful this looks. So you pay at the end or you pay? You pay, there's like a little booth. Okay. And it'll tell you, um, I think a radio station to connect your car to. Does For anyone the music. have debit? I mean cash. No. No. I don't carry cash only. Nobody does. So <laughs> hopefully they take something. I have Apple Pay if they uh um, I have Apple Pay too. As long as they don't take cards. 105.9. Can you put that on there for me? How do I change it? I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know, Jessica. Uh tune. I think oh, yeah. like a tune or something yeah. from iPhone. See you guys later. <laughs> we actually 
actually made a wrong turn. It's a whole frozen oh, set. Yep. Oh, should I call them? No. Why don't you call them? <laughs> Why? So that way they can see frozen. Just pull up. Yeah, I'm recording. I'm trying, I'm trying. No. There's Elsa or Anna. That's Elsa. Hey. Look at your siblings. It's frozen. Crazy. Is it 
right here? Advertising. It's a round little It's where they have like, it's like shakes and milkshakes. Oh, those crazy ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll go with you. I'll maybe drink a little bit. Oh, bro. The tunnels. I like the tunnels. They're my favorite. But I don't think we're going in. Oh, yeah. We're this village. So, do we have to make a decision? Yeah. Uh, park exit. We're going to see this village. Yeah. So we'll hit that on our way out. We're going to Santa's Village! Where? That way. Oh, okay. I was going to say, did we pass it? No, no, no. scary. So we are currently now in Santa's Village. Hold on. Oh my gosh, she would die. We are currently in Santa's Village. This is the walk around part. We did the drive around. They would love them. <laughs> it's okay. I wasn't walking. <laughs> It's almost like 10 o'clock and I really slept. I slept until like 9.30. I just like got out of bed. I look a mess. Oh my god. I can't believe I let you guys see me like this. Like I legitimately look like crap. That's okay. <laughs> Anyways, I just woke up and I'm putting my contacts in so I can see which I wish I didn't do because now I can see that I look like crap my face is so swollen so I am in my car I actually finished my makeup I think my makeup turned out really good like I said I don't use like foundation and stuff like that um too much lately just because like I found that all my eczema my skin issues really stemmed from like overusing foundation and stuff that I don't really need because I don't really get like a lot of crazy blemishes or anything like that. So I don't have to worry about that. I'm, I'm lucky in that aspect, I guess. So I've just been kind of doing like bare minimum. I also put this lipstick on. Wow, it's not a lipstick. It's a Kylie Shine lacquer. So basically it's like a thick, thick lip gloss or lip, lip gloss? Yeah, like a latex lip gloss almost, but it's absolutely ridiculous. I had to take some of it off because I was like, why is this not drying? I'm looking for a matte lipstick, right? Why is this not drying? Oh, it's not drying because that's not the kind of lipstick it is. It's a lip lacquer. <laughs> I have to film that. We are at Cookout, which is cooked outdoor style, original hamburgers and creamery, 36 premium shapes. So it is kind of like Sonic. Mm -hmm. I got Asian fries. Huh? We'll get them a shake before we leave. Today? I've never, never had your shakes. You wanna wait for just that? No. No? Okay. Um, I got Cajun fries. A sweet tea. In this, but it's very hot. What's this called? A big double a cheddar style. Big double cheddar style. It has bacon, onions. It's very hot for me to hold. So, it was really good. And it's like kind of like real burgers and not like, you know, McDonald's burgers. These are really good. Do they do? Like a lot of Cajun style stuff here. Mm -hmm. I love these fries. They're like boardwalk fries. And they're hot. 
What? If we're gonna go back through, we're gonna go on your side. You still have to order. What? Mm -hmm. Why? The way they set up their menu. That's dumb. Can you go inside there? I don't think so. What the hell is he doing? Moving the stuff out of his trunk. Or his bed. Oh, yeah. Which he probably should have done before. <laughs> oh, I probably should get busy. It looks like the car wash we have at home. Mm-hmm. Well, it lights up. They have so many now. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't even know where they came from. Like, one showed up in Edgewood. And then all of a sudden, there's like a massive car wash on every fucking corner. I use it though because I like the vacuums. They are really soft. Really soft. Can I go behind you. You should get them from like orthopedics if you guys have good insurance. It'll cover it. Not yet. Oh, right. I never in my life wear that. The sauce is phenomenal. Okay, so we have, what is this, buffalo shrimp. shrimp. And then Cajun Mahi Bites. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a go. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> this is ranchers, it's probably blue cheese too. Yeah. The lemon. No. Don't know that this is. <laughs> I don't care for this. Yeah, I tried it with the sauce and I tried it without it. That is really good. This one though. I told you, bro. The main reason he wanted to come here and the fish bowl drink. Drop. It's like an alcoholic drink. Yeah, it comes in a something ish I made another waffle didn't have butter this time which makes me sad but I mean what I was just gonna pick it up and dip it anyways so today really so today I'm going home pretty early last time I don't think I left until like maybe like noon I don't remember but I know it was like not very early but this time I am gonna leave a little bit, little bit early because I don't want to do too much driving at nighttime. I'm just not a nighttime driver. Um, so I'm going to try to leave out of here between 9 and 10. It's a seven to eight hour drive. So let's see. Mm -hmm. 
five or six over there. Sometimes there's traffic or if I get real tired, because for some reason on the way home, I get so tired. I probably pull over to rest up and just take a little nap. After Fishy Fishy, we went to my sister-in-law's house. We were staying with um, her parents. So after dinner, we went to my sister-in-law's house. And we were hanging out um, with her mom and her dad. And they're literally fucking awesome. Like they're, they're so, her mom is so sweet and so funny. Her dad is so chill and so cool. Like I could literally sit on their patio and talk with him smoking our cigarettes hanging out for like hours like literally he's super smart and like he's real chill he's not like one of those people who's like i'm older and smarter than no like he's so like let me tell you something let me let me you know tell you like this cool thing you didn't know or whatever but i don't know i have so much fun i really really enjoy being around them and they have like immediately treated me like I don't know, like family, like I matter. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, just because like, I don't really, I've only met them a handful of times, but I really like them. They're very cool people. All packed up and ready to go. Shameless. I'm gonna wear this for half of the trip, probably. And then get into like track pants. But I wanted to kind of look cute before I leave. Hey, you know? So I probably won't film too much of my back. I realized last time that like it just wasn't interesting. So I'll probably film a little bit when I first leave and then when I get to Maryland. So I will see you in a while. I am headed home. It is 9.35 in the morning. I am going to basically what I do when I do this trip is I mark a halfway point, which is usually Davis Travel Center in Virginia. And I drive there, get gas, use the bathroom, take a break. And then I drive the rest and I put it on my GPS. So I am, my ETA for Davis Travel Center is like 108 in the afternoon. So that means I should get home at like four or five, which is really nice. And like I said before, I'm probably not gonna film very much of like the going home part. I don't do very much. I mean, honestly, I might like film like some shots or something of the road or like if I stop and like something crazy happens, but really it's just like me driving and that's not very fun. You don't wanna just sit here talking to me while I'm driving, but I am headed home. It is bittersweet. I love going home because I miss my babies. But I also am going to miss my brother and my sister-in-law and Tanya and Nan and Bobby. So, at the next stop, yeah. take a slight left turn. Hopefully, within the next year or two, I'll be living down here. So, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But I am off. I'll check either check in or see you when I get back to Maryland. In two miles, keep right onto I-395 North toward Capitol Hill.